Taurus, this is personal. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I'm going to start off with the astrology and then we're going to get into the intuitive reading of the cards. I always create an extended reading for those of you who want to join me for more details and a deeper dive into the message. That link is below or consider joining my Unbound Born Without Boundaries Tarot uh, membership so that you can get unlimited access to all of the extended readings, all of the um, exclusive content, and all of the channel perks. Check it out. Um, remember that I upload a new Taurus video every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time that's over here on the West Coast. So subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you'll get notified when I upload your favorite content. Uh, if you want to join me for daily general tarot card readings, I would love to have you. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above and uh, yeah, we can live chat. That'd be so cool. All right. So why is this personal? Because it's in your home, man, this is hitting you in your house. Venus is home and that's a really great place for home as in in your first house, it's in your domicile. Venus is in Taurus. She's very comfortable there. She's got a lot to do with your value systems, what you value, what you pay for, what you invest in, what you think your time is worth, what you think you're worth. It's really personal. Now, it gets even deeper because Uranus has also been with you for quite some time, changing and shifting the way you do things and who you are, what you value, traditional systems, how you interact with traditions, how much you value traditions. In general, the two are about to collide. Venus is going to conjunct Uranus. Um, the conjunction starts basically today. It's a, loose, a looser conjunction. Over the weekend, it's practically in, it's in perfect conjunction. And then Sunday into Monday, something happens right after that conjunction starts to loosen up with Uranus. She squares off against Venus, squares off against Saturn, which means there's like standardizations, like authority, looking down, judging, uh, critiquing, um, sort of dominating, um, um, not just judging, like almost like like evaluating, validating, have you done things correctly? Um all of these things. So it's almost like you're going through a period where you are shifting and changing or you are awakening to um, different modes of value within who you are and um, acceptance of those changes. What can it mean for you personally in your day to day life? Major shifts. Um, unexpected because it's Uranus. So Uranus doesn't like to be predicted. So major shifts or major needs for a lot of ingenuity when it comes to your finances or your uh, romantic relationships. I feel like it's going to, yeah, I, I can't, I can't even say it's going to be more one than the other. Cause I, I don't know. Um, and since Uranus is unpredictable and likes to do things outside of the box, this is sort of the, the shift and the change and the energy of not doing things the way you've always done them. You've been feeling this coming for a while. This is when everything culminates and switches and then bam, Venus is going to get hit with that square and square off to, uh, it's okay because Mercury has been squaring off to Saturn for a while, but it's also kind of had Pluto trying to Pluto to help it out. Venus has no such thing. Venus just once again has that square to, um, to Saturn. <sighs> I don't think it'll be tough for you, as tough for you as it was when Venus, a few weeks ago when Venus was, I believe, squared to Pluto. No, it's not going to be that extreme or that intense. This is more sort of sobering. This is more something that would make you take things seriously or pay attention to things that you haven't uh, been, that haven't been paid attention to. Or if you've noticed things that need to change, this is where it's almost like you're going to be put through the racket if they haven't changed or until they change. Um, you may feel like you're clashing with somebody who has authority over you, parents, spouses, or, you know, it's, yeah, it could be definitely spouses or just like, um, uh, bosses, things like that. There could be, there could be major challenges that are coming there. For what reason? You have to innovate. You have to switch. You have to change. That is actually what's going to empower you to actually win. 
and prevail when it comes to these confrontations that are going to be coming up and they're all starting this week over this week now generally speaking the astrology surrounding you is wonderful and so that's why i don't think this is going to wreck or ruin your life but it's definitely going to make you take things more seriously actually uh not just think about the change or the switches but actually be able to commit to them and officially determine what it is um that is important to you moving forward so there's no more um thinking about things there's just making a decision to do them and so it's not that you have to get things done but that you will start let's get into the cards like you you will start on the journey um it's it's hard it you know especially if you've been putting something off for a while now you won't be putting it off anymore you'll actually lay the ground so this is definitely a sense of okay ha not having dealt with um, taking something too seriously or having it weigh you down because you haven't dealt with trauma or sadness and it's actually torn you a little bit away from who you are or your sincere purpose, your divine purpose. You have sometimes life stings, but it's in reverse. Um, and then you have co-create with spirit. This could also be um, pain that you didn't confront um, for whatever reason, right? Be playful. Uh, but it's not this is about this is about sinking underneath or letting it pull you down um, those things that maybe you took too seriously um, because yeah there there's just this like clash of, of of like a spiritual nature what does that mean sometimes life stings co-create with spirit and be playful I mean actually something that um, took you so much by surprise you thought it was like against God's will or <sighs> no I mean this is just being confronted with some serious shit you know something that um, <sighs> would absolutely bring you down but let's see what this is uh, sweet results await this is in business, you've done really well. And then see the big picture, which is also once again, finances. So really good surprises when it comes to financials, really good surprises when it comes to, oh, have you in any way, shape or form overcompensated financially or overcompensated in your profession, like in your professional life? This could also be um, committing yourself for the long term to a financial investment of some sort. What I don't like is this energy here. Sometimes life stings. Co-create with spirit is you legitimately saying no and going against God's plan when it's in reverse or not listening or feeling detached, right? And it, it may because... Um, it's almost like in some ways you got too greedy or somebody that like somebody got too greedy. Somebody got too shallow. Somebody overvalued the tangible resources, the 3D resources and undervalued the connection with spirit and the spiritual purpose of life. Right. And then we have be playful as in it ain't funny anymore. Right. There's comeuppance here. Um, somebody could call you out on something um, and then some size sometimes life stings Tr in trying to avoid pain you've actually or this is the energy of an incident that's going to cause larger pain and this is where the switches and the changes will happen holding on with that death grip to the way things used to be is going to cause you significant pain if you however you have two choices right um if you, however, let go and let God and see that, just admit, I don't know everything. I don't know the whole picture. I have to step back and do not just what's right for me, but what's right for, you know, my soul because it's connected to others. That's what's going to work out. That's the kind of work that you, that it's really going to blossom and you're going to, that's really going to be sweet results away. Um, it's in connection directly to that heart space. B spirit is Leo energy. So it's almost like taking on that sense of that Leo energy 
or wanting to shine demonstrate this is it though you do shine you do st you you stood out but at what costs and this would be the come up in so that could be problems with family problems with close personal relationships or overspending in some way shape or form that finally catches up to you and you have to confront it there's nothing here that says you're completely destroyed it's just this is when it reveals itself to you any kind of issues or problems that have built up, they can no longer be ignored. Damn. I tell you, let me say this to you. Wherever the North Node is, pro problems follow. They get it, they just get a tough time. This is not all doom and gloom for you guys. But it is something's about something's about to hit that you've tried to avoid. I'm telling you right now, it's not that you didn't see it coming. You did, but you didn't look at it. You felt it coming, but you didn't look at it. And now it's like, bam, 100%, you got to look at it. Uh, clear out the clutter. This is Cancerian energy. This could have direct impact on your family or your family circumstances or situations. Um, this is definitely a sense of someone ain't taking no shit no more, right? Kind of I'm done with you type of stuff. Could be you, could be them. Could also be a sense of um, getting all that crap that you use to block or try to push away or deny this energy that you refused to have come toward you. Um, it's, it's being whisked away. Universally, it's being whisked away. This is about, but usually this is voluntary since this is upright. Clear out the clutter. I just got, I just got washing my hands clean. Trust in divine detours. This has got to do with something from the past. Life is a mystery. Okay. Um, tend to the small things, some sort of disease, illness, sickness, some something that's built up over time that started small but has become large, and believe in yourself. So this is about alternative medicine or going a different route in terms of healing. Um, because, but, but this is like little bits and little bits kept building up. This has got to do with sickness or not taking care of yourself and something caught up to you in, in the past, um, that kind of really made you question, am I going to be okay? Am, can I get through this? But ultimately you decided, yes, you can get through this and you did get through this. And I think that that was great investments and that kind of strength and courage is what is, is really paying off now. And now you can see a future in this area, but there's another area here that kind of like is in terms of your soul, in terms of your, your spiritual health, uh, it's heavy. It weighed you down. Um, it's because of the attempt to avoid pain and suffering and then clear out the clutter. This could be actual surgery that you have to have on a part of you um, to just get rid of the illness that you may, the toxicity that you may have built up or allowed to build up. Trust in divine detours. Watch because, as, no, no, I'm not going to say that. Trust in divine detours, coyote spirits here. Um, you didn't see this coming. You didn't see this illness coming. It, 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 it surprised you. Um, it, it, it snuck up on you or yeah, it hit you. Uh, and then believe in yourself. This could for some, in some cases have to do with COVID or something that happened over COVID because that what would have been the unpredictable illness that we didn't understand, right? That nobody could predict. And it was almost like a constantly moving target when all of us were locked inside our houses, but you believed in yourself. You picked up the pieces and you planted some firm seeds. That is what's blossoming here. So I would say over the next, over the last year, two years, you really did like, you really did charge forward in an area of your life it's the area of your life that you kind of shoved under the carpet or under the rug or in some ways um didn't let yourself feel that's what that's what it is more there was issues i'm not even saying you caused the problem but there were issues brewing the thing was this was working out so well it was very easy for you to not focus on um very easy for you to not focus on actually um, confronting all this all this bad shit. You're just like, let me focus on the positive. But this went nowhere. 
And there's, there are, there is definitely a sort of like, it's gotten too heavy now. Heavy just to avoid the pain has become almost like an anchor around your ankle. Um, and now it's time to handle that. Um, and that will, that will change you. And I think that that's the purpose of this. Now is a lucky time is in reverse. So ultimately the prosperity and the growth is done. It doesn't mean you're losing anything. It just means that the huge growth period is done. Now you've got to look to see how can I make this work long term? How can I keep this going long term instead of just this huge push? It's also saying, listen, don't get discouraged, Taurus, because it may very well be you've reached a plateau. It doesn't mean that that plateau isn't that you've already leveled up. You would get to these points, right, where where the new thing isn't new anymore, and now it's plateaued. It's like you got five raises in one year, and now you're not getting any. It's just because it's plateaued. It actually doesn't mean that anything is wrong. Now it's a sense of just making this work for the future and keeping it going and keeping it healthy and keeping it strong, um, and this sort of incessant need to constantly explode and do more and be better has to be gotten rid of because it's too heavy. It's too heavy. There's some sort of expectation on you, especially when it comes to making money, that you actually don't like anymore. And it's gotten a little nefarious or it's gotten in terms of it's gotten to be a pollution. You were all kinds of hyped on this at one point, but you're starting to realize how maybe you don't believe in it anymore or it doesn't have the same value systems. It, them, the industry, whatever it is, doesn't have the same value systems as you. And it's almost like, shit, what do I do with this? Because maybe I'm even obligated in some ways financially to this long term, but ultimately is a sense of it's weighting down your soul. It's got to be confronted something here. It could have to do with fourth house, family, once again, work-life balance, um, home-life balance not being balanced anymore, something to do with that. And that's why things have stopped growing. You've reached oh, the edge to the point where if it went further, it would be cancerous, as in it would start to eat away at itself and overcrowd itself, because cause like that's where we are. It's like it's, you think you could keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, but you actually ha you can't because it's directly proportional to not even what's happening on the outside, but where you are. Do you have the strength to hold this up? You know, and, and obviously something's kind of crushing you. It, it, and maybe you haven't been talking about it. For many different reasons, you just didn't want to. You wanted to focus on the prosperity, and that's beautiful, but it can't be in the denial of the reality of what you're facing. This is that sense of you sort of hit the wall, because you can't go past the wall without confronting this. That's how you level up. Like this is the next step. No amount of work is going to get you over it. It's just basically facing the change at this point. So let's, if that makes any sense, Taurus. 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 Um... Yeah, there was abundance of like this abundance, profitability, um, a cornucopia of absolutely. You've been working really hard on this, I think. Um, this is something that you really believed in. And now it's coming to fruition. It's, it's coming out. And that's really beautiful. Um, only this is in reverse. Salmon is in reverse. Something is counterintuitive. Maybe it doesn't work out as planned. Whoever is judging you, the government, the government body, the judgment body, it's 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 almost like no, um, this isn't a home run kind of thing. And then winged messengers here cut off, and Taurus energy also cut off. All of these are in reverse in the future, so it's a sense of payment, the price. Um, you have this this bountifulness, fantastic, but something here is fucking not right everything is in reverse i don't know why um um maybe we get some insight with the moon taurus no no it's here salmon let's get to salmon yeah i'm reading this because i love this deck but it's so new to me and i want to work it so i can really learn it this fish is totem for achieving a very important goal. You missed your mark. It's courageous journey reminds you to listen to your intuition. You, you went against. Okay, you went against your intuition. 
And so you're, you're, you did not listen to your intuition. Perhaps you need a trip back home before you can move forward. There are times when connecting to ancestral lineage is helpful to ease your sense of identity and direction. Remember, your ancestors faced great challenges. You disconnected from your spiritual center. Or this is feeling like you've been disconnected. Could also be being severed from, taken away from, the loss of a family member. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Structure built. Oh, so it's different. It's almost like it's it's almost like somebody didn't value their ancestors. And that doesn't sound like you at all. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's somebody that you're dealing with or this institution that you're dealing with. And the problem is they made you a shit ton of money. So now how do you decide? Because clearly you're not impressed. You're not impressed. And, and you don't want to go down the road where they're going to make you into something that you're not. Right? It's, it's really you're starting to question your value systems. Do I earthly success? earthly abundance right which you have and you've earned because you've done so well but then ultimately it's like but i'm i'm betraying my sense of self and there was some disrespect here and going home and being reminded of these values are completely disconnected from the values of your ancestors your traditions what you really believe in so there's something here that that's that's really going to force you to say what do you value more and and whose side are you on really Oh, shit. Let's go into the extended. I'll see you guys there.